Hi guys, James from DBG here and welcome to another video, another Wobble Cam exclusive. Uh, this is of um, the job I've recently completed. It's some Flames of War goodness, some uh, early stroke mid-war North Africa forces. We have some British 8th Army on the left and some German Africa Corps on the right. Please ignore the 38T, that is a special request from the client. We'll talk about that in a sec. But yeah, um, the interesting thing about this commission is, that even though it is for Flames of War, every miniature is from a different or alternative manufacturer. <clears throat> that a Battlefront, don't get me wrong, when you buy a Battlefront kit, if you didn't know Battlefront is a company that makes Flames of War, when you buy a Battlefront kit, you get everything you need in that kit. Bases, decals, etc, etc, etc. To do that kit. But they are a little bit on the pricey side. So most people tend to buy the bases separately, buy the decals separately, and then buy the miniatures from different manufacturers. I shouldn't say most people. Some people do that. I'm one of those people, I've done that in the past, but I've also found that at, just at the moment it's actually really quite hard to get hold of um, bases the correct sizes that aren't um, uh, laser cut MDF, but there you go. Anyway, so the infantry and guns, which includes the uh, Vickers machine guns, are from Forged in Battle, which is I think Westwind. All the tanks are from Plastic Soldier Company which are amazing, you've heard me talk about them before. And the Stuka, the JU87 in the background, is a kit um, from Zvezda for their own um, war game called Art of Tactic, uh, which I think they don't produce anymore, but they still produce the kits, which is very handy for people who do 15mm or 100 scale wargaming, because they have a whole plethora of tanks etc etc for that anyway so as i said this is bobble cam um i couldn't i wasn't going to get my tripod out for this and you can probably get a better look at everything from this and i can control the focus and zoom much better as you can see so yeah this is the british eighth army infantry platoon try and get as close as humanly possible the sculpts are good they are possibly not as good as Battlefront, but they don't have the oversized heads that Battlefront tend to do. And then we go over here to the Vickers machine guns. Now the good thing about the Vickers machine guns is they're all one piece. You don't have to glue them together. Like you do with the Battlefront ones, which is very handy. And then over here you have the 25 pounder battery. Again, the limbers are all one piece. And the only thing you had to glue on to the 25 pounders focus is the, um, the gun shield, which just slides over the barrel. And then if we go back over here, we have some Valentines. We have a Mark II on the left and a Mark III on the right. I don't know if the markings are correct. I just chose ones that were different to the... 7th Armour Division ones because the 7th Armour Division didn't have uh, Valentines. Now these are A10s, which are Cruiser Mark II A's. You can tell they're A's because they have a whole machine gun. And the Cruiser Mark II's didn't have a whole machine gun. And they are painted in the Quanta, very famous three-tone camouflage of sort of bone or ivory, a very light olive and a darker olive drab in geometric sort of World War One destroyer dazzle pattern camouflage, which is very iconic to the 7th Armour Division in 1940. Then we go over here, we have some Panzer 3s, these are early J's, and then the stowage is what I had left over from um the care package i had from debris of war yeah and i actually used um some vallejo panzer specific 
paints for this and they work really well. I'm really pleased with the way they turned out. Then we've got the 38T. And the 38T actually never made it into the desert other than in Marder form, which is a converted one to have an anti-tank uh, pack 40 put on it. Um, but the client, this is his favorite tank and he wanted one, so he got one. So that's a 38T, again from Plastic Soldier Company. And we go up to the Stuka with the iconic Africa camouflage. And there is a little bomb, I don't know if you can see, a little bomb under there. And then down to, we have Pack 38s, so 50mm 20 tank guns. Now the unfortunate thing about these ones is, um, they actually came damaged. Both of the gun barrels were cracked, so I had to um, sort of fix and fill those, which is a bit disappointing. And then last but not least, we have the Africa Corps Infantry Platoon with the iconic MP40s, MG34s, and the Grenathenwerfer. There's the Leutnant. Lieutenant. So yeah, let's just pull back and focus. There we go. So yeah, that's what we've been working on the past week or so. Um, didn't take me long to knock out. Uh, so these will be getting packed up and sent off to the client um, as soon as humanly possible. So as usual, guys, do check out the links in the description to everything. Click on them if you want, click on them if you don't. There's Patreon, Goblin Gaming, and all the other sponsors and all that goodness. Any questions or queries about paints and stuff I used, whack them in the comment section. And as usual, you guys look after yourself, stay safe, and I'll catch you guys next time.